Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the concepts that led to the new start menu on Windows 11. Let's just dive right into it. But before, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It is free and really helps to support the channel and my work. Also, check my website for more tutorials and tech news. As you probably already know, Microsoft has confirmed that it's building a new start menu for Windows 11 that offers a bigger interface and brings together the pin recommended in all apps menus all into a single scrollable interface, as you can see right here. And as part of this new design, you're not allowed to remove the recommended section and even change the view for the all apps section. However, according to the Microsoft Design blog, the company had to go through several designs before they arrived to what they think is the best option for users. Now, let's look at the first start menu design concept that Microsoft was testing. As you can see, it has a two column design. On the left, we have a for you column that it seems to have a tile design that can help you to pick up tasks where you left off. On the right, you have all your apps and sorted depending on the category. And at the top, we can see the recent apps that you've been using. Aside from the design, another interesting element is the create button at the bottom right, as you can see right here, that appears that it will open a menu that allows you to make it more easy to create documents. Now let's look at the second concept design that Microsoft was testing. As you can see, it appears that the company was going for a design with more rounded corners. In addition to the way to group apps, as you can see on the top right, it's interesting to see the Spotify icon, which looks like Microsoft was thinking on a new take to bring live tiles to Windows 11. At the bottom, we can see a section that groups your tasks. And if you click on those, you can resume where you left off. As you can see right here, it appears that you can resume a video that you were watching on YouTube, but also you can click on this presentation to use PowerPoint to finish that specific slide. And this is the third design that Microsoft was testing. And this one reminds me more like an actual app. Like for me, it reminds me of the Microsoft Store app with the left rail to access the different tabs. From here, we can access the start page, your apps, and you have access to the create section that allows you to create different documents and even access the mobile sidebar by clicking this button. However, the start page seems to be heavily cluttered with apps and tiles to resume other tasks. However, it's interesting to see at the bottom that we have a shortcuts section to access your apps in a different way. Now, design number four reminds me to the start menu available on Windows 10, and I kind of like it. We have two columns and on the left, we have access to the list of all your apps installed on your computer, which they are neatly organized. And on the right, that's where we have the pens for your apps, which is where the live tiles used to be. However, as we can see at the bottom, there is another section where it seems that Microsoft was thinking on showing tiles or big thumbnails to resume working on a specific files. Design number five appears to be a full screen design divided into vertical modules. It includes a search box at the top with access to your pens and this module that allows you to quickly create different types of documents. And as you scroll down, you will find the for you section where you can pick up tasks where you left off. And that's it. Those were the five concepts that Microsoft was testing for the new start menu. And it is interesting to see from all those designs that this is the new start menu. Even though that I might disagree with some of the design choices and the other concepts, I kind of like the idea if Microsoft would have all those designs implemented on the operating system and just let the user have an option to choose between those different designs. But what are your thoughts about these concepts? Do you like this new menu design? that we're expecting to get in Windows 11? And which one of the concepts have you had picked for the operating system? Let me know in the comments. Also, share the video, like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.